Chris Pappas on the road in Manchester. The Democratic candidate for Congress in New Hampshire's first district stopped into Shea Vashon during breakfast recently to chat with voters. Barbara Duval wanted to know about his plan to combat the opioid crisis. I don't know what, how you stand on that. And it's a, uh, I mean, this is an issue that affects just about every family, every community. We all have stories from our own lives of people we know, people close to us that we've lost. And this can't be something that we just figure, oh, we'll do something and turn the corner tomorrow. This has to be a sustained effort over a period of years. This table of outdoorsmen discussed a wide range of issues, including Social Security and Medicare. Chris was important yeah. to a guy like me. It was. Is that our old people are taken care of. Social Security, Medicare, those are earned benefits, and you earn them through you know years and years of hard work, and we've got to make sure that we protect those programs so that they're there for people when they need them, uh, both today's retirees and, and the there next generation are, of retirees. It's our money. That's right. We're not asking the government for anything. Well, that's, it's our money. We paid into that. That's system. exactly right. That's <laughs> exactly right. We're spending that money. And, and those funds shouldn't be raided. They shouldn't be compromised at Absolutely all. And I don't think not. they should be privatized either. Jeff Coble wanted to know what Pappas thinks of President Trump's latest trade deal. The USMA, uh, the new thing with Canada that, that Trump's going to sign. Yeah, I mean, I think it... Um, and Mexico, of course. Yeah, I think it was an important step to negotiate that and to make sure that we're getting a fair deal. Some voters want a congressman who's ready to work on everything. There's a lot to talk about, you know, and I think that's part of the distress I have about Washington is that there's so many big issues, yet everything's so divisive and people are just out to win and beat the other side as opposed to finding ways to work together. In Manchester, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.